I would recommend that all chairpersons of government statutory boards prior to their first meeting implement with input from their chief officers of various government ministries agree that all board members sign a conflict of interest memorandum of understanding thereby allowing proper transparency and accountability of board meetings allowing these meetings to be open to the public and the minutes made available. Balancing the budget while properly funding the civil service pension plan, prioritizing the country's long and short-term capital expenditure needs with a view to reducing the cost of living for Caymanians, crime and social issues are on the increase. This stems from unemployment. I would seek to improve and diversify our existing economy while making sure that we implement policies for on-the-job training, ensuring that Caymanians take their rightful place in the job market. This will involve the participation by both the private and public sector. I've been a PPM member from inception. I understand the benefit of strong, intelligent persons from various economic and social backgrounds coming together to form a party. Discuss and prioritizing policies, goals and objectives with a view to form the next government so that to be able to run the country in an open and transparent way while involving the citizens in the decision-making process with regards to issues of national importance. The people of West Bay know that I'm a civic-minded, hard-working, and in particular, of my involvement in the community projects and activities in the 80s and 90s. Also, during Hurricane Ivan in 2004. They know that I have their best interests at heart, both socially and economically. I am now offering my service to them and respectfully ask them to give me and the West Bay Progressive team a chance to represent them come May the 22nd. I thank you all.